command ceremonies, all audience members, VIPs, retirees, civilians, and family members remain uncovered. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of our presiding officer, Major General Mark J. Schindler, the Adjutant General of Pennsylvania, welcome to today's change of responsibility and change of command ceremonies, where Command Sergeant Major Randall Pritz will hand over command responsibility and authority as a division Command Sergeant Major to Command Sergeant Major Joshua W. Porter. During our second ceremony, Major General Mark D. McCormick will relinquish command of the 20th Infantry Division to Major General Michael E. Wegshire, who will become the division's 40th Commanding General. At this time, I would like to introduce some of the special guests with us today. Please hold your applause until all, the, all of our special guests have been announced. Former Under Secretary of Defense and former Adjutant General of Pennsylvania National Guard, Honorable Jessica Wright and her husband Chuck. Deputy Commanding General Support, 20th Infantry Division, Brigadier General Jeffrey Heasley. Assistant Adjutant General, Army, Joint Force Headquarters, Major General James McCormick. Deputy Adjutant General, Army, Joint Force Headquarters, Brigadier General Lauren Q. Land Component Commander, Joint Force Headquarters, Brigadier General John Pippey. Chief of Staff, Joint Force Headquarters, Colonel Keith Graham. Chief of Staff, Joint Force Headquarters, and former Chief of Staff, Chief of Joint Staff, Joint Force Headquarters, and former Chief of Staff, 20th Infantry Division, Colonel Reese Lutz. Command Chief Warrant Officer, Joint Force Headquarters, Chief Warrant Officer 5, Darren Dreher. Command Senior Enlisted Leader, Pennsylvania National Guard, Command Sergeant Major Sean Phillips, and his wife Sandy. Command Sergeant Major Army, Joint Force Headquarters, Command Sergeant Major Andrew Campbell, former 20th Deputy Commanding General, Support and Adjutant General, Pennsylvania National Guard, Major General Retired James Joseph, former Division Commander, Major General Retired Andrew Schaefer Jr., former 20th Infantry Division Commander, Major General Retired Randall Markey, former 20th Infantry Division Commander and Adjutant General, Pennsylvania Army Net. Pennsylvania National Guard Major General Retired Rusty Craig and his wife Marta. Former 20th Infantry Division Commander Major General Retired Walter Stewart. Former Deputy Command General Maneuver 20th Infantry Division Brigadier General Retired Stephen Rodolski. Former Deputy Command General Maneuver 20th Infantry Division and current Executive Deputy Secretary Joint Force Headquarters Colonel Retired Mark Ferraro. Former 20th Infantry Division Chief of Staff Colonel Retired Teron Humphrey and his wife Roxanne. Former 20th Infantry Division Chief of Staff Colonel Retired Matthew Cooper. Former 20th Infantry Division Chief of Staff Colonel Retired Andrew Inch. Former 20th Infantry Command Sergeant Major Command Sergeant Major Retired John Jones and his wife Christine. Former 20th Infantry Division Command Sergeant Major Command Sergeant Major Retired Horace Peicher and his wife Barbara. And to all attending family, friends, officers, soldiers, airmen, and veterans, thank you for honoring us with your presence today. <laughs> During today's first ceremony, Command Sergeant Major Randall J. Chris will relinquish responsibility as the 20th Infantry Division Command Sergeant Major to Command Sergeant Major Joshua W. Porter. The officiating officer for today's change of responsibility ceremony is Major General Mark T. McCormick, commander of the 28th Infantry Division. The non-commissioned officer in charge of today's change of responsibility ceremony is Sergeant Major Andrew P. Franklin, the operations sergeant major of the headquarters 28th Infantry Division. Bring your units to attention. Brigade, attention. Brigade, attention. Brigade. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the invocation, presentation of the colors, and the playing of the national anthem.
Please join me in a moment of prayer. Lord God, we thank you for the strength that you have given us, not just to stand here today with fellow soldiers, but to stand with those who through the generations have been part of this division, who are represented by the streamers on our guidons. At this change of command and responsibility, we ask your blessing on Major General McCormick and Command Sergeant Major Pritz, their families, and their loved ones. Lord, we thank you for their commitment and dedication to this division, to its mission, and to its soldiers. Lord, we thank you for Major General Wegscheider and Command Sergeant Major Porter. We ask you to give them wisdom and resolve to lead us in the new challenges that will meet us in the days to come. Lord, we ask your peace. We ask your blessing on our homes and on our communities, on our state, and upon our nation. Lord, upon this world which you have made. Lord, we ask that those who would follow in our footsteps would find us faithful in all we do. This we ask in your most precious name. Amen.
The War Department in 1840 adopted a unique non-commissioned officer sword. It is a completely functional weapon, not intended for display, but rather for hard and dedicated use. While no longer a part of the Army's inventory, American sergeants wore it for over 70 years, during which occurred the Mexican-American War, the Civil War, and the Spanish-American War. The passing of the sword signifies the relinquishing of responsibility and authority from the outgoing to the incoming Command Sergeant Major. Command Sergeant Major may come and go, but the sword remains razor sharp. Command Sergeant Major Pritz will receive the sword from Sergeant Major Frankel entrusted with the Sergeant Major's sword, symbol of the authority of the NCO. Command Sergeant Major Pritz, in final deference to his authority and leadership, passes the sword to General McCormick, signifying a relinquishing of his duties and gratitude for the opportunity to care for the 20th Infantry Division outstanding soldiers. Major General McCormick then passes the sword to Command Sergeant Major Porter, delegating command authority and entrusting him with the responsibility and care of the division. Command Sergeant Major Porter returns the sword back to Sergeant Major Frankel, symbolizing his dedication to the soldiers of the 20th Infantry Division and the continuity of the NCO support channel. Mission, Major General Mark D. McCormick. Distinguished guests, general officers, soldiers, friends, and families, thank you for joining us today as we conduct this combined ceremony recognizing the outgoing command team of the 28th Infantry Division and welcoming in the new division command team. Combining these two ceremonies is a bit abnormal, and we had to take a little creative license with some of the protocol. But I think it's very important to separate them as much as possible in order to highlight the two great sergeants majors that are executing today's change of responsibility. The downside is that you'll have to listen to me give two speeches today. <laughs> I'm a huge believer in the command team concept and have always felt the command sergeant major of an army unit shares equally in establishing the vision and culture of an organization. I am honored to officiate today's change of responsibility because it provides me an opportunity to thank my battle buddy, Command Sergeant Major Pritz, for his dedication to the organization, and to introduce Command Sergeant Major Porter, a leader that I have the utmost confidence in. Command Sergeant Major Pritz and I began building a professional relationship immediately after his 2019 selection to be the CSM of the 28th Infantry Division. I was the Deputy Commanding General for Support, and it was very apparent to me that Command Sergeant Major Pritz was a passionate leader that always placed the well-being of soldiers first. He was actively engaged in his duties and always on the go, ensuring leaders and soldiers at every level had face time with the Division CSM. He also participated at the national level as a member of the Command Sergeant Major's National Advisory Committee uh, Council, ensuring the 28th Infantry Division had a voice at the National Guard Bureau for actions and decisions that impacted our soldiers. His energy and enthusiasm during his first year as CSM had a tangible, positive impact on all iron soldiers. After being selected to command the division, CSM Pritz and I began to solidify our command team philosophy and work jointly in instilling our shared vision for increasing soldier and unit readiness and for building on the positive command climate that we had inherited. The end result of our combined efforts was fully realized during our 2022-23 deployment to the Middle East for Operation Spartan Shield. The 565 iron soldiers that made up our division headquarters operated independently across multiple countries, 
upheld and enhanced the organization's culture of mission accomplishment, and they constantly lived up to the Army values and professional standards expected of an iron soldier. Command Sergeant Major Pritz's proactive and direct approach to leading and mentoring soldiers was one of the primary contributors to building the foundation for success during that deployment. One of the unexpected lessons I learned during that deployment was how much time and energy I had to commit to making sure Randy was fully taken care of every day. I had to remind him to take his tank card out of his computer every time he went to lunch and dinner to put his hearing aids somewhere where we would be able to find them in the morning. And to not overpack when we went on civilian flights so we wouldn't get held up at customs. He had a full-time aide, so poor Sergeant Jensen had <laughs> 10 times the problems I had. But that's what being a bad buddy is all about. Barb, you have definitely earned that bouquet of flowers today. <laughs> Command Sergeant Major Prince, on behalf of the entire 28th Infantry Division, thank you for your leadership, your desire to always improve the organization, your unwavering support to all our soldiers, no matter the circumstances. And for me personally, Randy, thank you for your professionalism, your team mentality, and most importantly, your friendship. You have already moved down to First Army, and after meeting and hearing from your new teammates during my recent visit to Fort Cavazos, I know you have made the right choice, and I know the leadership in First Army is impressed with your unique perspective that you bring to the job, having been a citizen soldier for more than three decades. Together, everyone here wishes you and Barb nothing but continued success, and we're all thrilled to know that you are part of the team that prepares our soldiers for deployments and service all around the world. Command Sergeant Major Porter, congratulations on your assignment as the 14th Command Sergeant Major of the 28th Infantry Division. Your military record of assignments and success is a clear indication that you are fully ready for this position. I like to think that I had a hand in getting you to stay in the Army Guard just a little bit longer. As you were getting ready to rotate out of the 2nd Brigade Combat Team Command Sergeant Major position, I remember jokingly thanking you for deciding to stay in the 28th Infantry Division so that you could deploy with us for Operation Spark. You respectfully corrected me, but I still like to think I planted the seed that day that others helped to cultivate and which led to your deployment and eventual assignment as the CSM. Your level-headed and experienced approach to, to leadership was critical to our operations in Jordan. You fully understood how the division was trying to shape our mission set across Jordan, and, our, and your input was always informed and supportive of soldier well-being. You have spent nearly your entire career in the 28th Infantry Division, making your assumption of command responsibility today a perfect example of selfless service and dedication. And it's an example for all our iron soldiers to strive to emulate. As I close my comments, I also want to highlight the selfless service and dedication uh, over numerous decades to, uh, for both Barbara Pritz and Janessa Porter. Thank you both for allowing your husbands to continue to serve and to support their decisions to remain in uniform in order to mold and mentor the next generation of leaders. Again, thank you all for attending today's Change of Responsibility Ceremony, and congratulations to Sergeant Major Pritz and Command Sergeant Major Porter. Iron Division, roll on. Ladies and gentlemen, the 13th, 20th Infantry Division Command Sergeant Major, Command Sergeant Major Randall J. Pritz. Good morning. What a great day uh, to be here at Fort Indian Time Gap. As we take the time to embrace an Army tradition that represents the formal transfer of authority and responsibility. Mayor General Schindler, Mayor General McCormick, General Officers, Command Sergeants Majors, distinguished guests, community leaders, teammates, and the friends of the 28th Infantry Division. Welcome and thank you for your presence here today. It makes this event that much more special for the 28th Infantry Division. My name is Randy Pritz, and I am proud to be a 28th Division soldier. 28th Division, as we are all aware, 
um, is the oldest division dating back to 1747. Have served in many of our nation's important and difficult campaigns in the, in the defense of the United States, its allies, and our partners. On 9 October 2022, the colors of the 28th were cased as we began our movement into the CENTCOM area of operations. Over the past four years of my tenure, the 28th, in traditional fashion, accepted the challenges and preparation to accomplish the task for a second rotation in support of Operation Spartan Shield. During that time, we developed relationships with higher headquarters at our center, CENTCOM, and our units from across all three compos to include Idaho, Mississippi, New York, New Hampshire, and it just so happens that Colonel Ulrichson is here with us today. He flew in to be here with us today, and I truly appreciate that, sir. It just shows the partnerships and relationships that we developed during our tour to Spartan Shield. We developed, trained, and perfected systems, processes, and procedures at home and abroad. We demonstrated proficiency during aggressive training exercises, CPXs, warfighters, our CTE at former Fort Hood, Fort Hood, now known as Fort Cavazos. Well, team, we achieved this goal, job well done, and today Forcecom has a strong warfighting division at the ready. Although the division is home, we must remember our divisional soldiers abroad continuing to support Forcecom operations abroad as we enjoy this time-honored event. Our success is a true testament to you and your dedication to the mission, the division, the Army National Guard. You play a major role in the accomplishments and every 28th Division soldier and family member should be proud. As we all know, we could not have been successful without the support of our families. You and your families represent our nation's best and exemplify the legacy of what it means to be an Iron Soldier family. I'm proud to have shared the successes with you, not as a coach, but as a teammate. Over my time in the 28th, many of you have provided many kind words and appreciative comments regarding my leadership abilities. I do truly appreciate your generosity and kind words, but I enjoyed the most was the opportunity to work for you and with you during my tenure in the division. As a command sergeant major, you do not work for me, I work for you. I have been honored to help grow, grow and guide an outstanding team of professionals, and for that, it was truly an honor to witness a team of consummate professionals working together in harmony, and for that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. To all the leaders in this room, I have had the privilege of working with as a command team, and to recognize a few, Colonel Farr, thank you so much for the time that we spent together in the camp. You helped to develop me who I am today. For General Schaefer, thank you so much for picking me to be the 13th 28th Infantry Division CSM. And uh, uh, General McCormick, thank you so much for everything that you've done for me. Thank you for your support and, and your part in developing me and providing me the proper guidance to lead our great resources in the Army, which is our soldiers. As Command Sergeant Major Guards of the RSN CSM would remind us, we are all soldiers. And I can't be reluctant to thank the Sergeants Majors that are in this room, every single one of you, that have made me and helped develop me as well. And two that I would really like to recognize is Command Sergeant Major Retired Jones and Command Sergeant Major Peicher. Thank you for your mentorship and your guidance along my path to put me where I'm at today. Sir, General McCormick, it was absolutely an honor to serve with you, and I am absolutely humbled to have had the opportunity to serve beside you as a command team for this historic division. I am forever thankful for your guidance, your mentorship, and more so the freedom of maneuver to get after your priorities. Your friendship and mentorship will absolutely last forever. And I personally want to thank you for the many evenings that we spent in Kuwait enjoying our evening cigar time and our fake beer beers. Uh, which I continue to do every other night now. Sorry, honey. To my family, I could not have done this without their unwavering support. None of us could do anything without the backbone of our Army, which, is, which we know as the NCO, but the true backbone of me is my wife. They have been the rock and foundation to allow me to serve in the capacity of have the ability to serve. 
And for that, I love you so dearly. At the conclusion of this weekend, Barb and I will return back to Fort Cavazos as we finish our ride together with our First Army family and Compo 2-3 partners as the Division West Operations Sergeant Major. We have absolutely been blessed to have had the opportunity to serve the 28th Division over the past 40 years. With every departure, there is an arrival. And for that, I am pleased to welcome Command Sergeant Major uh, Porter and his wife, Janessa, to the 28th Division team. They are the right team at the right time to take this trained, ready, focused war fighting organization into the future to meet the needs of our nation. I wish you all the best as you settle into this new opportunity. I leave you with two things to remember. There was an, uh, an old Sergeant Major that brought these to my attention. Guide the division as you are the tip of the spear, and always, always, always promote the tradition of this division through the 28th Division song. Thanks, Sergeant Major Jones. Barb and I are now and always will be part of the 28th Division family. Thank you all for being with us today. In closing, I quote Jimmy Dean, I can't change the direction of the wind. I can adjust myself to always reach my destination. Today, Barb and I will adjust ourselves as we close one chapter and begin another. I will always, always, and forever be a 28th Division soldier. God bless Army Strong 28th Roll on Keystone 7 now. Ladies and gentlemen, the 14th, 28th Infantry Division Command Sergeant's Major, Command Sergeant Major Joshua W. Porter. Thank you, sir. Uh, so as we begin, I'd like to thank General Schindler, Sergeant Major Phillips for being in attendance today, General Q, Command Sergeant Major Campbell. It's, uh, it's great to see you so much of the state leadership here today. Uh, to our retirees, retired adjutant generals, division commanders, command teams, command sergeant majors, senior officers and NCOs, uh, it's, it's always great to see so many of our retirees out at these events. Uh, you know, we started putting this weekend together, there was kind of a, a lot going on. Uh, so one of the first things I did was reach out to one of our retirees to, to ask him to do a little favor, help me out a little. Uh, and of course, like a soldier for life, the Tire 28th Infantry Division Command Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major, is he decided that he would jump in and help me without a problem. And now I'll take my first thing. <laughs> So, uh, so after I, I had Sergeant Major Price agree to do that for me, I said, uh, I said, whenever I'm fortunate enough to advance forward, I'm always going to try to drag some of my former mentors along. And then I paused and said, although I don't know if yelling at me every time you saw me for 18 months counts as mentorship, and, uh, and he gave me the perfect Sergeant Major answer, he said, well, it must have worked. So, uh, so I, even I can't argue with that, Sergeant Major. Uh, but I want to make sure the retirees know they're always going to be welcome at, at every 28th Infantry Division event. And of course, we'll always do our best to remember your service and the contributions you made to this division. Uh, to our family and, and friends that are here today, I'm sure you know without your support and understanding, we would never be able to accomplish the things that we do. Uh, probably a good time for me to thank my wife, Janessa, as well, for her continued support and understanding through all the years. Uh, never thought this would go on this long, but she's been with me every step of the way. So thank you, babe. Uh, and of course, General McCormick, General Wakeshutter, I want to thank you both for the faith and confidence you had in me uh, to choose me for this position. Uh, promise I will do my best to continue on the great traditions of the 28th Infantry Division. Uh, and then finally, probably most important to the soldiers of the 28th Infantry Division, I appreciate your continued efforts and support to make this division worthy of its moniker, the Iron Division. Uh, you know, I think after the first deployment where I was awarded a, a combat patch, uh, I obviously chose to go with the, with the double keystone. Uh, as I traveled around and met, met soldiers I was deployed with that I hadn't seen in a while, I was always asked the question, you know, what, what made you choose that? What, what made you want to be a Keystone sandwich? And I've always generally answered that question the same way by channeling with Pat and saying, we're not in the 28th Infantry Division. We are the 28th Infantry Division. You know, me and the commander are fortunate to be at the top of the chain of command in the NCO support channel in the division. But it's always the soldiers in this formation that are the ones that are in make this division successful. As leaders, we should all strive to remember that the most important people in the division are the formation. We should be honored to be leaders in this division. Leadership positions are a privilege and not a right. Advancement in the ranks is not an opportunity to be rewarded for your past accomplishment, 
but rather an opportunity for you to be of more service to your soldiers in the future. Thank you all. God bless. Rowan 28th. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the change of responsibility ceremony. Please stand for the departure of the official party. Bring your units to attention. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin our chain of command ceremony. Officiating officer for today's chain of command ceremony is Major General Mark J. Schindler, the Adjutant General of Pennsylvania, and the Commander of Troops is Colonel John D. Farr, the Chief of Staff, 28th Infantry Division. Today's official party is the outgoing commander of the 20th Infantry Division, Major General Mark D. McCormick, the Adjutant General of Pennsylvania, Major Mark Major General Mark J. Schindler, and the incoming commander of the 20th Infantry Division, Major General Michael E. Wajak. Please stand for the entrance of the official party. Thus, demonstrating his trust and confidence in the incoming commander. 
The time honor process is complete when General Wakeshire returns the colors to Command Sergeant Major Porter, indicating the trust and confidence held in the unit senior non commissioned officer. By the authority of paragraph 3 1, Army Regulation 600 20, Major General Michael E. Wakeshire assumes command of Headquarters 20th Infantry Division, effective March 1, 2024. Major General Mark J. Schindler. Major General Schindler was nominated to continue to serve as the 54th Assistant General of Pennsylvania and was confirmed by the Senate of Pennsylvania on April 26, 2023. In this cabinet level position with the Department of Military and Veteran Affairs, headquartered at Fort Eaton Town Gap, Amville, Pennsylvania, General Schindler oversees a combined state and federal budget of over $966 million. He is responsible for the command and control of over 18,000 Army, Air, National Guard members the third largest National Guard in the nation, a com complement of 2,500 Commonwealth employees, care of residential cadets at the Keystone State Challenge Academy, and six state-owned veterans' homes and programs for Pennsylvania more than 700,000 veterans. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to all our distinguished guests, service members, veterans, family, and friends. Today is an important day in the illustrious history of the 28th Division. Today we witnessed a time-honored tradition, the passing of a command from one officer to another, ensuring the continuity of authority. We say goodbye to Major General Mark McCormick and welcome Major General Michael Wegscheider to command. Both of these men are great citizens, great soldiers, great patriots, and great leaders of the Pennsylvania Army National Guard. Lieutenant General Trudeau once said, only by full use of your imagination and your initiative will you ever know your own capabilities as a leader. You'll never know your capacity until you stretch yourself or are stretched beyond what you think you can do or should do. Major General McCormick has stretched himself. He leans forward and uses imagination. He's commanded the 28th Infantry Division in an outstanding manner. He's mentored and stretched those within his command to do great things, never to be satisfied with the status quo. Mark, your leadership has been absolutely key. You maintained a steady, intense focus on people, performance, and professionalism. You emphasize leader development, mission command, disciplined initiative, and unit readiness. Your emphasis on the use of the operation process, training guidance development, and predictability built readiness in the division and ensured success in all mobilizations, federal and state. Recently, your leadership ensured the division's success as Task Force Spartan in Kuwait, where the division distinguished itself again by setting conditions for strategic success throughout the region. Your passion for soldiers, and leader development, combined with your enthusiasm for the history and legacy of the 28th Infantry Division will undoubtedly endure for years to come. Major General McCormick, well done. Your soldiers, commanders, and staff remain magnificent and their duty performance superior. The division's storied history remains intact with a great new chapter added. Your leadership ensured the 28th Division was always ready and always there whenever our nation or Commonwealth called. To Major General McCormick, his wife Lori, and his entire family, thank you for your sacrifice and service. We are in your debt. Major General Wegscheider, Dawn, and the entire Wegscheider family, congratulations. I know you're up to the challenge and will embrace every moment together in continued service to our soldiers and their families. 
My congratulations are in order for assuming command of the best division in the entire Army, our 28th Infantry Division. Having commanded at multiple levels and serving at every echelon, from platoon through division, Weggs is an outstanding, proven combat leader and brings a tremendous amount of tactical experience, operational knowledge, and personal management skills to command. I've no doubt you and your family will pick up where Mark has left off and will continue to build on the magnificent history of the 28th Infantry Division. To the soldiers of the Keystone Division, thank you. Thank you for your dedicated service to our Commonwealth and country. You represent the best in America. Hometown service, men and women of the Pennsylvania's 28th Division answering duty's call. Boots on the ground with courage, sacrifice, and inspiring commitment to our freedom and the freedom of others. We can be proud of these men and women in our military and the Keystone soldiers who serve for something larger than themselves. Take care of each other, leaders. Take care of your soldiers. Together, we will continue to build the tough, resilient, and well-trained formation that is the 28th Division. For we must remain always ready, always there. Roll on, 28th. Roll on. Ladies and gentlemen, the 39th Commander of the 28th Infantry Division, Major General Mark E. McCormick. Major General Schindler, thank you very much for the kind words, and as always, thank you for your continued support to the veterans of the Commonwealth and the veterans of the 28th Infantry Division. Distinguished guests, families, friends, my comments this morning are pretty straightforward. To express my profound gratitude for being allowed to command the 28th Infantry Division over the last three and a half years, and to thank everyone for their constant support during my time of assignment. Always on the top of the list of people I need to thank, my wife Lori, my three children, Max, Marianne, and PJ. I met my wife Lori in uh, college, started dating about three weeks before I was a commissioned a second lieutenant, and I told her, don't worry, babe, it's only three years. <laughs> three years, I'll be done with all this. Well, here I am 36 years later, three kids, and now the pinnacle assignment that anyone could hope for. Thank you for your continued support, and thank you to the kids as well. Next week I start throwing out all their stuff now that I'm retired. <laughs> I also need to thank the senior leadership of the Pennsylvania Army National Guard, especially former Adjutant General Anthony Corelli, for granting me the opportunity to command the division and to continue to serve side by side with soldiers. The support I received from the Pennsylvania National Guard leaders, including the advice and mentorship from the 28th Infantry Division Graybeards, has been critical and greatly appreciated. The Iron Division had an extensive list of requirements during my tenure. Warfighter exercise, a national training center rotation, deployments, civil disturbance response, and multiple levels of support to the Commonwealth during the fight against COVID. None of the 28th Infantry Division missions would have been successful without the unwavering support of senior leaders, both past and present. I owe a huge thanks to the 28th Infantry Division general, office, general officers and staff. It's great to have so many of the former chiefs of staff here today. I count all five as considered an 06 fire team in the Army. I could, I could spend the rest of the afternoon detailing the multitude of accomplishments the 28th Infantry Division achieved during the last three and a half years. But the one consistent factor would always be our success because of the leadership from the Chief of Staff and the experienced execution from the Division staff, both officers and NCOs. No matter what we called ourselves, the Iron Division, Task Force Iron, or Task Force Spartan, the staff members that made up the team have been an absolute all-star team and the foundation for everything we accomplished. 
My deepest gratitude to all of you and thank you. I also want to thank all the brigade and battalion command teams for their dedication and leadership. Command Sergeant Major Pritz and I developed the Iron Division Leadership Triad as our lines of effort, people, performance, and professionalism. But it was the leaders at the lower echelons that made that catchphrase come to life by developing well-trained soldiers and engaged leaders right on down to the squad level. I've always felt that commanders should be allowed to command and try to constantly support the Brigade and Battalion Command Teams in achieving their goals and their intent. You have all done an outstanding job building readiness and taking care of soldiers. Most importantly, I must thank all the Iron Soldiers of the 28th Infantry Division. I have had the absolute honor of representing all of you and bragging about your professionalism and your accomplishments. For three and a half years, I have proudly watched our Iron Soldiers selflessly serve the citizens of Pennsylvania in hospitals, nursing homes, COVID test sites, and vaccination centers. I experienced a feeling of deep respect as I witnessed the personal courage from hundreds of our Iron Soldiers as they responded to civil unrest in Philadelphia and Washington, D.C. I have witnessed the anxiety and desire in soldiers' eyes as they boarded buses and planes traveling all around the globe to execute military operations on behalf of the nation. And I have seen those same soldiers return home filled with personal pride for their service and the joy of re reuniting with their families and loved ones. The reputation of the 28th Infantry Division is well known and respected in the United States Army and all around the world. It is a reputation earned in war, fostered in freedom, and built on the commitment, service, and sacrifice of thousands of dedicated soldiers. Leading this formation and the great iron soldiers in it has been one of the single greatest periods of my military career. Major General Weichscheider, Mike, congratulations to you for being selected as the 40th Commanding General of the Iron Division. We have worked together for the last seven years, and while we were deployed, we made up two parts of the Magnificent Seven. That's what we called ourselves for Sunday meetings. I have been, always admired your desire and your ability, but more importantly, your straightforward advice and your loyal, loyalty to the mission. Your experience will be greatly needed and appreciated as the 28th Infantry Division embarks on becoming a multi-domain capable organization, fully trained to execute large-scale large ground combat operations. All the best to you as you take on this pinnacle assignment. A final thanks to the Division SGS team and the mighty 28th Infantry Division Band. Today's combined ceremony will be remembered as a showcase event due to your precision planning and the musical inclusion of military tradition. As I close my comments, I want to remind everyone that we have over 1,000 Iron Soldiers currently deployed throughout the Horn of Africa and nearly 1,000 more ready to deploy in the coming months. I ask that all of you keep them in your thoughts and prayers, and that you continue to speak and highlight the selfless sacrifices that they make on behalf of this nation. Iron Division, roll on. Ladies and gentlemen, the 40th Commander of the 20th Infantry Division, Major General Michael E. e. Whiteshire. Good morning. Uh, everybody in the formation try to take a little bit more relaxed uh, position of that ease. All right, try to stretch. We have about three to five minutes left for mission complete, and then you can uh, continue on. Major General Schindler, Sergeant Major Phillips, friends and family of the 28th Infantry Division, former members, and most importantly, the currently uh, serving division soldiers. I thank you, and I believe that covers everyone in the room. Thanks for attending. I have the honor of accepting command of arguably the oldest and one of the most decorated divisions in America today. Tracing our lineage back to 1747 and established in 1879. Just a few words of thanks 
uh, traditionally provided by the incoming commander to four or five groups or individuals. First, I want to thank my family, my wife Dawn, my daughter Heidi, my three sons, Tim, Colin, and Gunner. Uh, Tim has served before on active duty. Gunner is currently a private first class in Texas in AIT. I thank my whole family. They've been with me, well, at least my wife has, for uh, four deployments, multiple uh, activations, and they've missed me a lot, and I've missed a lot of events, just like all of us. So I thank them. Uh, and ladies, thanks for being here. Secondly, I want to thank the Adjutant General for his confidence and trust that he's placed in me. Every decision that we make, myself, Sergeant Major Porter, and the command team, will be made with careful thought on how it affects the Army, the state, the division, and most importantly, our soldiers and their families. I want to thank the team that put this event together with no small task. You've made a difficult transition much easier. Your hard work, your attention to detail uh, is much appreciated. And that's uh, specifically the FGS team, the division band, and the entire command team led by the commander of troops, the chief of staff, John Farr. Almost the most important person I want to thank is my predecessor, Major General Mark McCormick. I've watched him carefully over the last uh, six or seven years. Not in a creepy way, but I've watched him very carefully. <laughs> <laughs> and I've, I've learned a lot from General McCormick. He's impressed me both with his tactical acumen as well as his administrative and organizational skills. He's been an incredible mentor throughout national emergencies, activations, divisional warfighting exercises, and most importantly, our recent divisional deployment to the CENTCOM AOR in support of Operation Spartan Shield. He has left the division in a great place, and I would never be so presumptuous as to say that Sergeant Major Porter and I are going to take the division to the fabled next level. We are absolutely not going to take the division to another level. That would be ignorant to, to say something like that, in my opinion. Sergeant Major Porter and myself, we will have different priorities. We'll have different challenges. Potentially, we will focus on nuances and changes in lines of effort, but not very divergent. But neither of us think that we will take the division to a higher level than Sergeant Major Pritz and Major General McCormick have already established. We will take the division, we will modernize and transform while in contact, we will support subordinate units who are near deployed or preparing to deploy, and we will attempt to increase readiness and lethality while we'll simultaneously conducting exercises overseas, preparing for a divisional warfighter, and being ready to execute any task given whether that's tonight, three years from now, from the state, or from federal authorities. And finally, I want to thank everyone for being here. If I went uh, mentor by mentor, rank by rank, I would miss people and we would be here for a long time. Traditionally, I would thank everyone on this side, but I'm not so traditional, so I want to thank, more importantly, some of the special guests over here are aligned units for sure. So we have assigned units, four brigades, and we have aligned units now, three brigades. 256 IBCT from Louisiana, and 32nd IBCT from Wisconsin, and 371 uh, Support Brigade from Ohio. I think this shows the modern Army concept of alignment, teamwork, and the fact that we have attendance from uh, the majority of our friends here, to include 1st Army, 174th, shows that we truly are a committed team working together and we're on the forefront of modern Army doctrine. But finally, I want to thank, uh, to me personally, the most important people have been NCOs that I've worked with and made friends with uh, in a non fraternizing way over the last 35 years within the division. As I've worked in the 55th ABCT, the MEB, 56th SBCT, the 2nd IBCT, and divisional headquarters in the 2nd IBCT. I want to thank, uh, in no special order, the best master gunner in the 2nd Brigade, uh, 
Sergeant Major Tim, I'm sorry, Master Sergeant Tim Snyder and his wife Amber, one of the best family branch group coordinators in the state. Sergeant Kovacs from the 2nd Brigade, always been a stellar supply sergeant, one of the first uh, infantry women leading uh, that effort. The best striker vehicle commander in the entire fleet, Sergeant First Class Travis Sensing, who's here. Uh, my first battalion command sergeant major, sergeant major Dan Murphy from the 111th, who, uh, who's it for bad or for good is responsible in large part for me. PSD NCO, sergeant Quang Lei, who's also here. All the way back to sergeant major uh, uh, Travis Sterner, who drove from Colorado to be here. Sergeant major Pritz, who was my brigade sergeant major and uh, Sergeant First Class Chuck McGovern and Jack McGregor, who I served with probably 35 years ago together in different battalions and, and different regiments. So I know I missed a lot of people, and that's always the risk of thanking people. But I think you understand the point is I place a, a huge emphasis and great value on the mentorship I've received from the NCO Corps. This side's obvious. To me, that side has been uh, formational. And for that, I thank you. And I will include the oldest uh, the oldest E4 in the Army, Special Sam. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> always continually serving Special Sam. I've always appreciated the council and the talk of Special Sam. With that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Sorry, Major Porter and I have a lot of work to do, but we have been left a great organization and we're ready to go. Thank you very much. Division song and the Army song and the departure of the official party. Our benediction this morning are the words of the division prayer. Our Father, creator of beauty and life, spare this earth from wanton strife. Twenty-eight soldiers who through history long to thy kingdom now belong, bless and abide with them there. God in heaven, eternal love, Protect our homes with grace from above. Our loved ones, who thy will endure, comfort their hearts, keep them secure. Bless and abide with them here. We on earth who await thy call, help us to keep the faith with all, with banners high and hearts in line. In your holy light, may the keystone shine. Bless and abide with us all. Amen.
Dead. Oh. Freeze it. Oh. Freeze it. Oh. Sir, this concludes the ceremony. Take charge of the division. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony. Please welcome and congratulate 20th Infantry Division Commander Major General Michael Wegscheider and Command Sergeant Major Porter, and bid farewell to Major General Mark McCormick and Command Sergeant Major Randall Prince. Please join us in the vestibule to the back for cake and refreshments courtesy of the 40th Commanding General, Major General Wegscheider. Thank you and have a pleasant afternoon. Bring your units to order arms and take charge of your units.